No, no, no. Uh, it was actually mine. This time it was really mine. Because in the PBB, po, parang si more and mom nag influence sa akin. But this time my mom was like, Are you sure? Because once you leave, because there's a rule in Italy na <coughs> once you leave school and you're 18, you can go to normal school. You're going to go on a night school. So my mom was really think about it twice. Once you go, you can't go back. And probably it was one of my life changing decisions that I needed to take. And um, yeah, it was really me. It was um, no one else told me to go back. It was a hard decision. I didn't know. I don't know if it's the right decision or, or not. I, I, we'll see with the results. We'll see if we're, I'm going to be smiling in 10 years. <laughs> Kahit kung ano talagang nangyari sa inyo ni Gises, naging kayo ba? Kami ni Gises. Hindi po ano talaga? Hindi po. Na. Hindi naman. Parang naging ano lang talaga kami. Masasabi ko naman naging sobrang malapit na kaibigan kami. Totoo naman yun. Pero dumating sa pagmamahalan. Hindi <laughs> siya. Hindi oh. nag-work in. Oh. Oh. Pero yung sa inyo na Juliana. Bo. <laughs> yun yung dumating, di ba? Okay, um, I believe I didn't find love, like real love yet. It could be like a crush thing, it could be a, you know, a temporary thing. But it, the real love, I don't know what it is yet. I don't have an, um, an explanation from it. And probably because I'm too young, or probably it's just I didn't find it yet. But siguro naman, kung totoo ang pagbamahal namin noon, Juliana yun, edi kami pa rin uh, ngayon, di ba? Hindi, umalis ka kasi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For the record, you were officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Ni Juliana. Juliana. Oo, oh, naging kayo ba? Hindi, <laughs> okay. namin mo na eh. Naging oh. kayo eh. Oo, oh, hindi oh, po. Pero may ikli lang. Oo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kasi umalis ka, di ba? Ayaw mo ng LDR. Oo po. There's Pero, some... How was, I'm sorry, but how was the separation like? Uh, mutual, ba? Yeah, it was def- definitely mutual because we understood that. Uh, alam nyo naman po na mga mga batay pa bago bago ng isip. So <laughs> alam na namin yun sa na pag mahirap mahirap to kapag may LDR tayo pa magbago ng isip na ayon na natin. Eh, mas maganda naman sa personal kesa sa cellphone. So sa personal na namin inunahan kaya. Even at that time, it was, you know, masakit. Kasi syempre... Who initiated? It was a really mutual thing. It was like both of us wanted it. So, kasi alam namin ang what's gonna compart <coughs> having an LDR. We both understood how hard it will be. And honestly, we both didn't wanna, you know, commit in something that hard. So, gusto lang namin... Mas gusto, ngayon, until now, we're friends. I mean, if she has a problem, she's gonna like, you know, keep me up, and we're gonna talk. And same as me, I mean, if I'm down, why not, you know. So, nagkakatawagan pa rin kayo? Yeah. Chat po, friends, you know, hang out. Bakit hindi na bumalik yung romantic thing after yung pagbalik mo? Parang nawala na ba yung... Wala na, close na. <laughs> so, close na. Pag na balikan niya. <laughs> Kinausap ka raw ni Richard? Po. Kinausap ka daw ni Richard? Hindi naman, uh, nung birthday niya, parang tinatanong lang naman kung, kung kamusta na po ako. Catch up, it was, a, it was really nice that until now. You know, sometimes um, mga magulang ng uh, Pinoy po, they have that kind of ugali na kunyari nag-break up, so they're gonna get angry automatically to the guy or to the girl. But it was really nice. I, I was surprised that they were not angry to me. They were, not, they were really cool. They were like super nice to me na Baka hindi mo naman kasi naman. silaktan si Julia. Yeah, that's why. That's why it was a... Uh, I think that's why like no issue is... Baka si Juliana na nakit sa'yo. Baka si Juliana. Baka ito ang pangasak. Ang isa talaga. Kaya ka umalis. Kaya hindi galit sa'yo kasi si Juliana. Hindi, hindi. Pero friends na lang kayo ngayon. Opo. Yung level. As in friends na lang. Opo. Pero gaano kayo katagal? Na naging kayo. Three months? Three months ata. Pero ikaw yung first, ano niya, BF niya. Ito lang yun na three months na? Sa totoo lang, hindi ko ba natatanggi? Hindi ko lang. Parang naman. Ito ba? First time na, di ba? 
kasi sa ikaw talaga masasagot po yan hindi niya alam hindi niya natanggap pero ikaw first ikaw first mo ba siya sa Italy diba sa Italy na mayroon dami I mean even okay I wanna clear this up okay even if you have a lot of girlfriends I wanna understand why is such a bit bad thing if you didn't do anything bad to them if you didn't you know cheat on them it's not gonna be a bad thing Um, I really do, uh, I, even if you have a lot of girlfriends, I have probably like four or five, but even if you have a lot, like I don't know, I'm not gonna judge you, 10, 15. The point is, as long as you've been a gentleman to them, as long as you treated them well, you're the perfect person for me. I don't care. And that's the point, at least, at mas gusto ko pa yun, mas gusto ko pa na madami kang, madami ka naging karelasyon, para pagdating sa kasal, hindi basta kayo, may experience ka na, hindi basta kayo mag-de-divorce on the first problem. Because you have experience already, di ba? Because sometimes other people, um, you know, hindi sila mag-jojo until marriage, pagkatapos pagdating sa isang maliit na problema sa kasal, eh, yeah, agad, divorce. Pero ano reaction mo? Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, pag ang lalaki, madaming girlfriends, iba ang tingin ng tao, kahit ang tayo shoeless. Hindi, huwag lang sabay-sabay. Nagsabay-sabay ka ba? Wala akong ganun. Five girls at the same time. Hindi, hindi. Mali yun. Mali yun. Siyempre mali. Alam ako din naman yun. At huwag mo naman gawin sa ibang tao yung ayaw mong gawin sa'yo. Di ba? 